welcome back um, now if they say in the same zinc copper cell remember where we said zinc is negative 0 0.76 and copper is positive 0 0.34 volts they say calculate the initial reading on the ammeter which is the emf of the cell now you go and copy the formula there are three formulas that you can choose electrode potential of the cell equals to electrode potential of the cathode that's the easiest one user-friendly one and electrode potential of the anode fine the cathode is the copper where now uh, they is come from the copper half cell which is the positive 0 0.34 and anode is the zinc in this case, which is negative 0 0.76. Therefore, this is 1 comma 1 volt. That's how you get the four marks. One mark for the formula, one mark for this, one mark for this, one mark for this. So you get four marks. And also from this value, we can tell that the cell reaction is spontaneous. So the cell reaction is spontaneous because why the emf of the cell is greater than zero fine from this also we can take it further and say write down the cell notation the cell notation in the olden days they used to call it symbolic representation therefore we start with the soul bridge on the left hand side of the salt bridge is how oxidation takes place and on the right hand side of the salt bridge is how reduction takes place therefore we know zinc is oxidized you go to the half reaction of zinc copy from right to left it changes from zinc solid to zinc ions and then whereas the reduction it involves copper half cell therefore copper ions in solution will be changing to form copper solid fine no problem then the other one they can ask you about here which is the question of uh, determine which one is the reducing agent reducing agent and which one is the oxidizing agent no, oxidizing agent reducing agent obviously will be the one that is oxidized or the one that undergoes oxidation in this case so which will be zinc it's oxidized to form zinc ion whereas the oxidizing agent is the one that is reduced which will be your copper ions fine no problem in this cell again they can now ask you about the uh, what happens when you increase the concentration remember we said the balance equation here is zinc ion zinc plus copper ion sorry forms a zinc ion plus copper therefore the emf when we start is 1,1 volt as soon as we connect the voltmeter the EMF will reach 0 .0, 0 .1 volt. Now, as the cell is in operation, remember, uh, normal reaction, the mass of zinc will decrease. The concentration of the electrolyte will also decrease. So, and the concentration of the anode half cell will increase because the zinc metal is now turning into ions and there will be a layering in the copper electrode with of copper so the mass of copper increase and the emf started from this one it will reach zero when the emf reach zero we say the cell has reached what equilibrium cell reached equilibrium 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 When the cell is reached equilibrium, if you go back to 
the question of equilibrium. We say at equilibrium, it means that the, the rate of the forward equals the rate of the reverse. We use that background here also to explain this, to say when the cell has reached equilibrium, when the EMF is zero, drops to zero, it means that now the rate of oxidation uh, equal to the rate rate of reduction so that is when the cell has reached what equilibrium if they can say uh, explain in terms of oxidation and reduction when the cell has reached equilibrium so this will be the perfect explanation in this case okay Let's pause and then to explain how the salt bridge maintain electrical neutrality in the cell. Thank you.